The great thing was, it was when he spoke, I could see that he was a true poet because he looked at the world slightly differently from everybody else. Basically, I thought that the way that he um, just sort of cropped up in unlikely places, doing something which was pretty unlikely at the time anyway, was just um, was great. When I heard Patrick, I just went, you know, I am a young, angry, black Rastafarian, and I identify with everything he's saying. And I mean, when I got his safety pin, um, the first one, um, you know, I mean, that obviously was the, the anthemic one that everyone really, wrote. and it's significant, I've got to say, that even people who really weren't into sort of um, acoustic stuff or anything, just about everybody liked safety pin stuck in, stuck in my heart. I mean, that was just the one that everybody thought, yeah, that, that has really got it. When you listen to safety pin stuck in my heart properly, when you, when you listen to the lyrics and soak them up, it's actually, you realise it's a love song for punk. stuck in my heart For you, for you Such a thing stuck in my heart For you, for you Such a thing stuck in my heart For you, for you I don't love you for your many reasons Propagandist doctrines, treasons All I know is that big, big I've got an earring flanged on my job chain Painted faces, painted names, my shirt It's all that beep, 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 beep The Chaplin analogy makes sense too when you think of him as being When you look at you remember him, he was a very frail bloke He was a little bloke And he'd be wandering on stage, he's got his funny old red trousers He's got his sandals on And he's playing in front of an audience But largely of skinheads Great hulking great boot brutes with DM boots and shaven heads and not particularly interested in poetry, you're not going to compare anyone to a summer's day, you know. And he's gone on and he's daring to do this stuff and ignoring the insults and carrying on. He had a lot of bubble to do that. Um, he, took, he took guts to do that. And, and he was, he, you knew then that this guy was not just an eccentric person, but also an interesting person. All the years of trying, all the many interviews to get your views across, but they always got lost. Um, I can't imagine him not being famous to everyone else, because it's just, it seems so obvious. As many as your record company hope they would, and you never may, you never you never made, never made the top 30. The idea of kind of just being so naked on stage, you know, that, you know, being that raw, being able to show bone, um, that to me is, is completely punk. Now you are a suck, sis. Now you are a suck, sis. And now you are a suck, sis. Now you are a suck, sis. Now you are a suck, says. Now you are a suck, says. And after all the years of trying.